It's Night Rides, with thanks for riding. It's 1.18 a.m. Try the wine. <laughs> what are we doing? Flume dog? <laughs> yeah, sure. So... so some Hasidic Jew or something calls himself Flume Dog. Guys from Connecticut, right? Yeah, fifty-two-year-old Connecticut man. Mm. Is a Hasidic Jew? <laughs> so he wears like the long coat and the crazy hat, crazy long hair. <laughs> um, I would assume so. Mm. Right, well, his name is uh. J. Harris. Oh. Is his real name. That's a surprisingly plain name. But it's I... J. Harris. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something more fun. <laughs> what, like Flumus <laughs> Dogite or You're something? You're going to do a, a play on that? Uh, Flumus no. Flumus Doggins? I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking uh, <laughs> Flumberg. <laughs> Dogpatch Flumberg. <laughs> Flumberg. Flumberg Dogstein. <laughs> Flumberg. Dogstein. I like that one, yeah. So this guy loves to ride flumes, I assume. If he yeah, didn't, what's the, what's that'd be kind of weird. What's the deal? He only rides flumes. Well, this thing is kind of weird anyway. <laughs> his name, wait a minute. So like his internet handle is Flume Dog, and he, uh, he uh, just loves flumes. Yeah, apparently. It, it might be a stretch, but uh, <laughs> this guy loves flumes. I mean, I love a good flume just as much as the next dog, but <laughs> this is a bit much for me. Uh, and then what? And so he goes to parks by himself. He for, apparently uh, slept inside of Six Flags Great America. Did he sleep inside the flume? Did he sleep in the flume log? Um, did he sleep I, I with, don't know. with a flume log? <laughs> Maybe he did. He didn't sleep with it, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Maybe he slept in the trough. He's sleeping with logs, isn't he? Flume logs. <laughs> he is. He saw him, face it. He saw in logs. Except he's sleeping with them too. <laughs> he's sleeping. He's a flume dog. I love I that. I can't believe I just love it. The second I read that, I loved it. Just flume dog. <laughs> it's, it, it, says, it says here self described flume dog. The flume dog. So apparently he calls himself that. It wasn't like other people said, "Oh, hey, you love flumes. You like a regular no, flume that, yeah, that's dog." His name. He picked it, right? That's like, yeah, again, his like, internet, whatever it is. I guess if yeah. he's Facebook or is it Twitter or something, and he's like flume dog, whatever. Yeah, that's his. So uh, he's saying that's his handle. He picked. That. I love flumes, dog. He I'm a flume named, dog. He named himself that. Yeah, the flume dog, Jay Harris. Oh, you didn't flow. <laughs> <laughs> Do the whole thing, but just add flume in. Flume references? Yeah. That's not the whole thing. Can you do it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, <laughs> Six Flags proudly bring, brings to you... <laughs> yeah, what is he? The, the flume riding champion of the world! <laughs> the flume dog, Jay Harris! Big ass! Billy Bob! <laughs> <laughs> That's his friend. <laughs> the creepy flume riding asshole. <laughs> what are the, like wrestling taglines are there? You can what? throw flume into <laughs> flume dust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> The under <laughs> flumer. <laughs> oh, the big boss flume, the uh, IR flume, <laughs> the million dollar flume, <laughs> the 
blog of Flumanowski. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this guy doing? He's well, coming to your town. He's coming yeah. to your local Six Flags. And, uh... Well, not he, anymore. He's getting your... He got banned. He's getting your kid to ride the log flume with him. Oh, he actually... Apparently, he... He did ask three women at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, if he could take their children on the flume ride. <laughs> no. Why would you do that? If you're going to do this... So he asked the parents. Yeah, if you're going to be a creepy-ass pedophile flume dog why would you ask the parents just go straight to the kid yeah just look for the kids that are alone yeah maybe something this like that this guy's not going about it it's not very way. smart no. no um he's asking the mothers cause, cause <laughs> who's gonna can... say yes <laughs> who the fuck is gonna say oh sure <laughs> yeah. take my child away from me for a long while I don't mind I, I guess the reason why he's the flume dog is because that's the most contact you're going to have. Like, you sit the kid in front of you. Oh. And then the kid's, like, between your legs. So <laughs> I guess he's going to, you know, mm. try to get, get off real, real quick for the ride's over <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. You know, yeah, I, I guess, guess that's not... what. Yeah, you're not side by side or or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, any other ride is not going to. Yeah, really he wants work. to like be hugging a kid in his. It's like nestled up in his crotch. Right. Basically, <laughs> this is really sick. Actually, the more I'm thinking about this, yeah, the more we're talking about this, this is worse than I thought. Yeah, I mean, they... it's creepy that there's someone going around just even asking, and that's why he got banned. Right. Because I guess word got out, and enough complaints were logged against them. That this guy is going around and just making everyone's day really creepy. <laughs> giving you a bad memory from your day at the park. And uh, I doubt that he ever got a chance to even do this. I mean, yeah, I, I don't I, know. I, I mean, I that, that's that... not reported, and I guess he's not going to tell the truth now at this point. But I hope it, it never... He was never successful, yeah. Uh, so it, it doesn't seem like he was. No one's <clears throat> bringing that up. But he, we, just the fact that he was trying is really, it was enough. This is really awful. Yeah. And he was trying this, I guess, for years? And traveling around the country? He's from Connecticut, right? And he was in, he was in Fiesta, Texas at one point. Well, a, apparently his ban was instituted in 2006. As this is an old story, really. So why are we hearing about this now? Uh, I guess maybe it's just coming to trial now, maybe. Oh, is that what it is? Or I thought he was trying to get back in. Well, he um, chained himself to a tree at over Georgia. Oh, so this guy <laughs> travels around the country just to do creepy things at Six Flags parks. And it's only Six Flags, huh? You know what? I guess apparently, I guess that best in the business uh, uh, season pass deal is just too much to pass up. This is really weird. I mean, he's from Connecticut. But so New England would be his he home. Was, Six Flags. Yeah, he. But he was trying. He was trying to pull his, or he was doing this weird shit at Fiesta, Texas, and, at over Georgia, and at Great America. Uh oh. So n three parks, not anywhere near him. <laughs> You're not gonna let me talk. <laughs> Don't let him in here. Go ahead. You can come. On. <laughs> what, is, what is the? I want to know what the Colonel thinks about this story. <laughs> what What do you think about what Colonel? I do declare. What do you think about this guy chaining himself to a tree inside your park? This creepy pedophile guy. This man disgusts the colonel. <laughs> and the only thing the colonel hates more than his fried chicken getting burnt and extra crispy. <laughs> Is a creepy old man trying to harass children and families inside the greatest theme park the world has ever known. The six confederate flags over Georgia. Now if I ever run into this character myself... 
you can bet he won't be walking away on his own power. You gonna give him a what for, Colonel? <laughs> I'll give him what for and all that yik yak, flim flam, and willy whopper. <laughs> this whole thing just disgusts me. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> the Colonel's a little tired. He's gonna retire for the evening. Good day, gentlemen. They ride with thanks right. So what do you think about Jingle Cruise? My thoughts are that that is a, a terrible ride <laughs> that should have been ripped out years ago and it's going to take a lot more than changing jungle to jingle and a humming a Christmas song or something, whatever the hell they're doing on there putting a, a string of Christmas lights around the, the elephant's neck or something uh, to make it interesting and to make me give a shit about it or I guess it's a Santa hat, I'm sorry a Santa hat on the elephant. And it's a new ride, basically. It's a new experience. You've never seen it before. Is it? I don't know what the hell they're even thinking, really. Why would you even do that? You know what's and interesting? From the, and from the reports, it's not even anything really different, right? It's just... No, they put some lights and Christmas decorations around, and that's... Like the, the it. It's not like Haunted Mansion Holiday, where... I think it's kind of a different ride experience, because yeah, it's, they it's, it's all put scenes. a lot of different stuff in From there. From the movie, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, it seems like uh, the, it, it's just a minimal effort. Lazy effort. It's basically not up to par. It's not Disney quality. They're really reaching with this one. But whatever, if they want to do it, I don't care. It's not going to ruin that ride for me or make it better or worse. It's just I don't give well, a shit. I mean, that ride is what, a once every two visits <laughs> uh did we do At it this last point, time uh, we just keep skipping it like crazy when was the last time we even did it i don't remember did we we didn't do it in florida right or did we no we were there last i've been in florida one a long time actually yeah i don't think i've done that one since 2005 yeah, that might have been it because i haven't seen that tunnel part <laughs> in a long time <laughs> Uh, I know, like yeah. the last couple of times I've done it, it was in it was in California, the original. Yeah, which has more of a reason to still be there. They should have at least tear it out in the world by now. Mm-hmm. There's no need for it. Well, what do you think of just the the Disneyland holiday overlays? You know, they do them at land, but they don't do them at World. Yeah, this is the first one they did at World, right? Um. Jingle Cruise, and it sucks. Um, What do I think about that? I think what it comes down to is Disneyland has much more of a strong base of locals that come to the park uh, a lot. Okay. And it just makes sense there to change things up throughout the year. To give people a reason to go at Christmas time. It's also Southern California, where I, I don't know what else there is Christmas theme to do. Uh, I mean, we're we, we're in New York. We're in the Christmas capital of the world. I think. I think half of the major Christmas events happen in New York, or the major Christmas movies are all based in New York. Everything's New York. I don't know what what there is to do in Southern California, so you know, like give their people something to do. Hmm. You know. And then in in Florida, it's just that that's nobody lives there. It's just it's all vacation. <laughs> yeah. So for that crowd, it doesn't really matter what time of year you come. I mean, they do, they do, they do it up with all the decorations. In Florida, yeah, the same as land. 
They just don't change the rides out in any, in right. any way. This is the first little slight attempt at doing that. Yeah. But I, I just think they don't have to there. They f- or they feel they don't have to because, it's, you know, it's just people that come once a year anyway, regardless of what time they come. Or maybe once a year at most, if you do it, that's your every year vacation. Otherwise, even less than often than that. And then you don't have to keep changing. You'll be happy just to get mansion every time. Oh, Country Bears had a show. Oh, that's right. They were doing that up until fairly recently. Yeah. Yeah, they cut that. That's right. They, they, there was one thing they did. They mm-hmm. did Country Bear Christmas. All all the Christmas overlays. I guess it's fine. I mean, I don't I don't have anything against it. Um I think it's nice. It's a nice I idea. Don't know. It's a nice idea. You might as well just do it. You may as well just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I guess I'm for it. Apparently, Rolling Thunder is just a pile of toothpicks. At this oh point. yeah, we gotta. I guess we gotta mention this. Yeah, Rolling Thunder. I I saw the picture that it's uh, reduced to a rubble. I don't know. I I I, I know I really don't care because it wasn't a very good ride, but it's always a little sad to see. Just to see it, yeah. I guess the first shot of it. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, we we said this on a previous show. I think you said that this one doesn't really hurt that much th- mm-hmm. that they're going to remove this ride because it was a pretty bad ride. But yeah, when when you actually see the destruction, <laughs> you know, it's different if if if. You just see nothing if the land has already been cleared away and stuff. But to see actual, the actual yeah. demo of the thing, it is kind of sad and it makes me feel bad that I, you know, talk shit about that ride. Yeah, or you immediately like started thinking, like what I did anyway. I, I immediately started like trying to play the ride in my head. Oh yeah, like trying to make yeah. sure I had a handle on it. Like, <laughs> oh, because I guess I'm really never riding it. It just becomes so real all of a sudden. Like I knew what was happening, but when it when you finally see it, it's like, oh shit! I really am never gonna ride it again. Yeah. And then it, so then I started trying to think about it, and play it, and mm. like, oh, <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, you know, when you like rides, it's even the bad ones still can have a place in your heart somewhere. I just hope they were careful and didn't uh, take apart any part of El Toro. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the construction crew didn't get, you know, overzealous and <laughs> just start tearing out everything that was made of wood. I was going to say, I uh, hope they were careful didn't get any splinters. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I hope they were careful, took it apart, you know, really carefully so it could be, you know, sold and rebuilt somewhere else. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, no, no. <laughs> then you see the picture. Oh, oh wait, no, they they didn't. Yeah, here uh, I heard uh, I was looking for a new ride. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if uh, he's going to be able to use that one. Ah, uh, well, you know what? It it was probably better than Twisted Twins. <laughs> I remember Twisted Twins being, yeah, really, really terrible. So as bad as it might have been was, better than that, I think it was better than that. It would have been a decent trade up. <laughs> it would have been an upgrade. <laughs> oh, that's really. That's um, funny. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just the pile of junk. Pile of rubble. And you know it's going to be exactly like that. That's what you're going to see on ah. opening day Great Adventure. Yeah. You're just going to see that. That pile of they just no, They leveled it, and now that's just going to stay there. Yeah. They probably will. Because that's what they do. Uh, yeah, it looks like El Toro is fine in that picture. I'm sure it's still there. I wonder how it's going to affect that ride. Now, um, I kind of like that the, the... Oh, yeah. The latter section of that ride... You were kind. You were inside of the uh, layout of Rolling Thunder. Rolling yeah. Thunder was essentially a figure eight, mm. and you were inside one of the one of the loops, one of the loops of the eight. So you had a nice. You're going back and forth. Mm. Those quick changes of direction. You had a nice enclosed feel because, like the Rolling Thunder, made kind of a natural wall around you. Now it's going to be gone. It's going to be more open now. I wonder if that's going to 
possibly affect that. Yeah, it never occurred to me. Or if you'll know, I don't know. I wonder how much you'll notice it or how much you won't. I don't know. You are speeding through that part pretty quickly, but yeah, that that will be really interesting. El Toro will still be awesome. I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> it's just uh, all of a sudden that ride sucks now. Yeah, man. I don't know. I guess the curse of <clears throat> Rolling Thunder. It's gonna possess El Toro and make it really suck now. It's gonna be really rough rough and not greased up at all squealing through the course (laughs) oh man rolling thunder if anything that's what I'll always miss I'll miss that final turn (laughs) yeah or just the thing was just bopping and weaving all over the place (laughs) and the screech the constant screech just the whole yeah they never (laughs) wanted to fix that or boil it up or anything Mm. unbelievable Mm -mm -mm. grease it up I guess Rolling Thunder, here's to you. Goodbye to the screeching thunder. King's Dominion, they have a 40th anniversary coming up. Oh, they do. This is exciting, and actually, I want to say, I mean, we got to make sure to go. No? What? Oh, I thought there, there was me? more. I'm sorry, I thought you weren't finished. <laughs> no, I was saying we got to make sure to go uh, as part of this 40th, 2014. Oh, yes. Uh, we should definitely try to make sure to get well, there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because I really do like that park, and uh, mm. I'm actually kind of excited about some of what they might be doing there to yeah. celebrate this, this 40th anniversary. It's actually... This this really almost seems like this might be they're kind of breaking new ground here, uh-huh. just in the that they're really gonna go uh, I guess as much as they can retro and and try to bring back as much of the as many nostalgic pieces of the past uh, into the park for next season. Mm. And Singing you know mushrooms. nobody you I mean even uh, even Disney doesn't do that. They had the fiftieth that. California, which we were a part of, mm. and uh, you know they don't actually bring stuff back <laughs> or or rename things, you know, back to old names or anything. They didn't go that far, right? They just let people know which ride was an opening season ride. They put a little fiftieth, right? They, yeah, that's just a little marker thing. Uh, that was about it, though. And, I mean, as far and, as and they yeah. put on a a, a kick ass. Fireworks well, nighttime yeah, show, the best fireworks best show ever, ever. Yeah, incredible. But uh, I'm really excited about about this. And then, of course, Six Flags had a big anniversary recently, and they did nothing. I know they had the big 50th recently, right? 61. You were yeah, right. it was 2011, and then they did nothing really. Just a season as usual. Right. Crap as usual. Serving up that Six Flags crap. <laughs> so uh, I really like this this concept. Thanks for riding on Nitro.